There's something undeniably captivating about medieval games. They transport you to a world of knights, castles, and epic battles where honor and bravery reign supreme. Whether you're waging war on a battlefield, ruling over a kingdom, or embarking on a quest for glory, these games offer an escape from the modern world. So, let's dive into some of the most incredible medieval games that will make you forget the modern world entirely. Kicking off with Northgard. Northgard is an absolute gem for anyone who loves real-time strategy with a Norse twist. Imagine leading a Viking clan into uncharted territories, where every decision you make could mean the difference between thriving in a new land or succumbing to its many dangers. The game masterfully blends city-building elements with strategic combat, making you feel like every moment spent is crucial to your survival. The graphics are sharp and vibrant, capturing the beauty and brutality of the Viking era. Each season in Northgard brings its own challenges, with winter being particularly brutal. The first time winter hit my settlement, I was woefully unprepared. Watching my villagers slowly starve because I didn't gather enough food was a harsh lesson in the unforgiving nature of the game. But that's what makes Northgard so compelling. It's not just about expansion, it's about survival. The gameplay in Northgard is dynamic. It offers various clans, each with unique abilities, which means every playthrough feels fresh. The joy of Northgard lies in its complexity, managing your resources, defending against rival clans, and ensuring your people survive the harsh winters. The multiplayer mode adds another layer of excitement as you pit your strategic mind against other players. Northgard is a challenging game to test your ability to think on your feet adapt to ever-changing conditions, and lead your people to victory in a world where the line between life and death is as thin as ice. It's a must-play for strategy enthusiasts and fans of Viking lore alike. Next up is Peniment. Set in 16th century Bavaria, this game is not your typical action-packed adventure, but rather a slow, deliberate exploration of a world rich in history, culture, and intrigue. You play as Andreas Mailer, a journeyman artist who becomes entangled in a series of murders that shake the small town of Tassing to its core. The game's art style is truly unique, resembling illuminated manuscripts from the period, with every character and scene meticulously crafted to evoke the time and place. But Pentiment isn't just about its beautiful visuals. It's about the choices you make and the stories you uncover. The game places a heavy emphasis on dialogue and character interactions, with every choice you make affecting the outcome of the story. It's a game where your actions have real consequences, where a seemingly innocuous decision can lead to tragedy or salvation. I found myself agonizing over certain choices, knowing that whatever path I chose would impact the lives of the people around me. This deep level of immersion is what makes Peniment so special. Plus, the historical accuracy and attention to detail in Peniment are astounding. As you navigate the complex web of relationships and uncover hidden secrets, you'll find yourself drawn deeper into the world of Tassing, eager to see how your choices will shape the story. Pentiment is a game that rewards patience and thoughtfulness, offering a richly textured narrative experience that stays with you long after the credits roll. It's a must-play for anyone who loves history, storytelling, or just a damn good mystery. Next up, we have Crusader Kings 3. Crusader Kings 3 is the ultimate sandbox for fans of grand strategy, offering an experience that is as deep and complex as it is rewarding. This game isn't just about building an empire, it's about managing the intricate relationships, politics, and personal ambitions of a dynasty over centuries. The beauty of Crusader Kings 3 lies in its unpredictability. No two games are ever the same thanks to the game's intricate simulation of medieval life. The character-driven storytelling is where Crusader Kings 3 truly shines. Every member of your dynasty has their own personality, goals, and secrets, and interacting with them feels like playing a game of medieval chess. I remember one playthrough where my character's jealous brother plotted to usurp the throne, leading to a civil war that nearly tore the kingdom apart. The thrill of navigating such personal and political drama is what makes Crusader Kings 3 so addictive. It's a game where you'll find yourself getting attached to your characters, mourning their deaths, and celebrating their victories as if they were your own. 
Crusader Kings 3 also offers a rich tapestry of medieval history, allowing you to play as historical figures or create your own dynasty in a world that feels alive and dynamic. The game's depth is staggering, with systems for everything from warfare and diplomacy to religion and culture. Whether you're trying to secure alliances through marriage, expand your territory through conquest, or simply keep your dynasty from imploding under the weight of its own ambitions, Crusader Kings 3 offers endless opportunities for strategic gameplay. It's a game that rewards careful planning, clever manipulation, and a bit of luck, just like real life, only with more swords and crowns. Up next, we have Bannerlord. Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord is the ultimate medieval sandbox, a game that offers unparalleled freedom to carve out your own path in a brutal, war-torn world. The game's combat system is where it truly excels. Every battle feels visceral and intense, whether you're leading a cavalry charge, defending a castle, or engaging in one-on-one -on -one duels. The combat mechanics are deep and satisfying, with a focus on skill and timing that makes every victory feel hard-earned and every defeat a lesson in strategy. The world of Bannerlord is vast and dynamic, filled with factions vying for power, cities bustling with trade, and landscapes. The game's sandbox nature means that you can approach your journey however you like. I even spent countless hours just roaming the world, participating in tournaments, recruiting soldiers, and gradually building my reputation. The joy of Bannerlord lies in its open-ended nature. There's always something new to discover, some new challenge to overcome. Bannerlord also features a robust kingdom management system where you can govern your lands, make laws, and deal with the complexities of ruling a medieval realm. The political intrigue is just as intense as the battlefield, with rival lords, treacherous vassals, and ambitious kings all vying for power. I had a moment where I managed to secure an alliance with a powerful faction, only to have them betray me at the worst possible moment, leading to a desperate fight to hold on to my lands. Bannerlord is a game where every decision matters, where your choices shape the world around you, and where the thrill of victory is always tempered by the knowledge that defeat could be just around the corner. Next up, we have War Tales. This is a gritty, open-world RPG that pulls no punches. This isn't a story of heroes, it's a story of survival, of making the tough decisions when everything's against you. The world of War Tales feels like it's alive. Every village you visit, every contract you take, and every enemy you face feels part of a larger, unforgiving world. The top-down view might make it seem like a traditional strategy game, but don't be fooled. The depth of the RPG mechanics is astounding. You'll find yourself deeply attached to your mercenaries, not just because they're your means of survival, but because each one has their own story, their own strengths and weaknesses. The combat in War Tales is tactical and brutal. Every move counts and one wrong decision could see your best fighter lying in the dirt, but it's not all grim. The game also has a surprisingly rich economy system, with trade, crafting, and even a bit of haggling to keep things interesting. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of outfitting your squad with gear you've crafted yourself, then watching them tear through enemies in a well-planned ambush. The graphics may not be cutting edge, but the art style perfectly captures the grim, hopeless feeling of a world gone wrong. War Tales is a game that will challenge, frustrate, and ultimately reward you with one of the most immersive medieval experiences out there. Next up is Skyrim. There's a reason why Skyrim is still hailed as one of the greatest RPGs of all time, even years after its release. This game is the epitome of freedom in a medieval fantasy world, offering a vast open world where you can truly be anyone and do anything. The level of immersion is unparalleled, with every inch of the map filled with detail and life. The beauty of Skyrim lies in its endless possibilities. You can choose to be a fearsome warrior, slaying dragons and bandits alike, or a stealthy assassin, striking from the shadows with deadly precision. The game's rich lore is woven into every corner of the world, with countless books, characters, and quests that add depth to your experience. And then there are the dragons, massive terrifying beasts that can appear at any moment, forcing you into epic battles that will leave you breathless. 
The thrill of taking down your first dragon is something that stays with you, a testament to the game's ability to create unforgettable moments. Skyrim's character development system is incredibly flexible, allowing you to mold your character in any way you see fit. Plus, the game's modding community has also kept it alive and fresh, with countless mods that enhance, expand, and even completely overhaul the experience. Skyrim is a world that invites you to lose yourself in it, to explore every nook and cranny, and to create your own legend in the land of the Nords. Up next, we have Medieval Dynasty. If you've ever wanted to step into the shoes of a medieval villager and carve out a life from scratch, Medieval Dynasty is your game. The game places you in a vast open world where you start with nothing but the clothes on your back and a few basic tools. From there, it's up to you to build a dynasty that will last for generations. The sheer scale of Medieval Dynasty is incredible. The world feels alive with changing seasons, wildlife, and a day-night cycle that affects everything you do. The game combines elements of survival, crafting, and city building in a way that feels natural and immersive. You'll find yourself chopping wood, hunting for food, and building your first simple home, all while managing your character's hunger, thirst, and stamina. But the real magic happens when you start to build your village. Recruiting NPCs to join you, assigning them tasks, and watching your settlement grow from a single shack into a thriving community is incredibly satisfying. The attention to detail is impressive. Every building you construct, every field you plant, and every animal you domesticate feels like a real accomplishment. Medieval Dynasty also has a surprisingly deep narrative. As you build your settlement, you'll interact with other villagers, complete quests, and uncover the world's lore. It's a slower-paced game, but that's part of its charm. It allows you to immerse yourself in the day-to-day -day life of a medieval villager in a way that few games do. Whether you're gathering herbs, trading with a neighboring village, or defending your settlement from bandits, Medieval Dynasty is a game that will suck you in and make you forget the modern world exists. Next on the list, we have Total War Medieval 2. When it comes to grand strategy games set in the medieval period, this game is a titan. If you're a fan of history, this game is like a dream come true. You get to take control of one of many factions, from the mighty English to the pious crusaders, and lead them to glory, or ruin, across a beautifully rendered map of Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. The real-time battles are where Total War Medieval 2 truly shines. Imagine commanding thousands of soldiers, archers, and knights on a battlefield that stretches for miles. The level of detail is astounding. Watching your cavalry charge into the enemy's ranks or your archer's rain arrows down on the enemy is thrilling every time. But this isn't just about brute force. You'll need to employ tactics, consider terrain, and manage morale to win the day. The game also excels in its campaign mode, where you'll be managing cities, building armies, forging alliances, and plotting your enemy's downfall. There's a deep sense of satisfaction in watching your empire grow, especially when you've had to outmaneuver your rivals to get there. This game isn't just about battles, though. The game's political system adds a layer of complexity that keeps things interesting. You'll need to navigate alliances, marriage packs, and the ever-present threat of betrayal. And then there's the Pope, who can make or break your plans with a single decree. Balancing your ambitions with the church's demands adds a unique challenge that feels true to the period. Whether you're expanding your empire through diplomacy or conquest, Total War Medieval 2 offers an experience that's both epic in scope and deeply satisfying. Next up is Manor Lords. This is one of those games that takes you by surprise. It's a city-building game at its core, but it's so much more than that. Set in a beautifully rendered medieval world, Manor Lords combines the strategic depth of city management with the gritty realism of medieval life. This game lets you take control of a small plot of land and build it into a thriving settlement. But this isn't your typical city builder. Manor Lords focuses on realism in a way that few games do. What sets Manor Lords apart is its attention to detail. The game's developer has gone to great lengths to ensure that everything in the game feels authentic. 
From the way your villagers cut wood to the way they build houses, everything is grounded in reality. This attention to detail extends to the game's combat system, which is both brutal and tactical. You'll need to consider factors like terrain, weather, and the morale of your troops if you want to come out on top. Manor Lords also stand out with its balance between strategy and immersion. It's one thing to manage a city from above, but Manor Lords lets you get down into the thick of it. The game's dynamic weather system and seasonal changes add another layer of challenge, making it feel like you're really living through the harsh realities of medieval life. If you're looking for a game that combines strategy with a deep sense of immersion, Manor Lords is the one to play. Next up is Conqueror's Blade. Unlike the previous games, this one is quite unique because of its large-scale medieval combat. This MMO blends the best of strategy, action, and RPG elements into a medieval warfare experience like no other. You take on the role of a warlord, leading your army into massive battles that can involve hundreds of players at once. It's chaotic, it's brutal, and it's incredibly satisfying. The sheer scale of the battles in Conqueror's Blade is something to behold. Charging into battle with your troops at your side, clashing with enemy forces in a whirlwind of swords and arrows, is the stuff of medieval legends. The game offers a wide range of units to command, but what really sets Conqueror's Blade apart is the way it combines real-time combat with strategic planning. You'll need to think on your feet, adapting your tactics to the ever-changing battlefield if you want to emerge victorious. The game's world is vast and full of opportunities for conquest. You can join a faction, form alliances, and carve out your own territory in a persistent online world. The community aspect of Conqueror's Blade adds another layer of depth, with players banding together to take on powerful enemies or wage war against rival factions. The graphics in Conqueror's Blade are also impressive, with detailed character models and beautifully rendered environments that bring the medieval world to life. The game's developers is also constantly adding new content, keeping the experience fresh with new units, weapons, and events. If you're a fan of large-scale battles and strategic warfare, this game is a must-play. Up next, we have Dragon's Dogma 2. If you thought the first Dragon's Dogma was a wild ride, wait until you dive into Dragon's Dogma 2. Set in a medieval-inspired fantasy world, Dragon's Dogma 2 throws you into a world full of dangerous creatures, dark dungeons, and epic quests that make you feel like the hero of your own adventure. The game's combat system is impressive. It's fast, fluid, and incredibly satisfying. And when I say it's satisfying, it was really satisfying. Like for example, you can take down a creature while riding on his massive body. It's actually fun, and your eyes will surely enjoy this epic battle moments. But that's not all. Dragon's Dogma 2 also has a special in its pawn system, where you can create and customize AI companions to join you on your journey. These pawns aren't just mindless followers, they learn from your actions, adapt to your playstyle, and can even be shared with other players online. This adds a unique layer of strategy as you'll need to build a team that complements your strengths and weaknesses. The world of Dragon's Dogma 2 is also worth exploring in its own right, along with its story that is just as gripping as the gameplay. To be honest, I find the game totally engaging, despite all those negative reviews that I've read online. Of course, this kind of game is not for everyone. But if you like what you are watching right now, maybe Dragon's Dogma 2 deserves a spot on your library. If there's one game that embodies the idea of forgetting the modern world, it's Kingdom Come Deliverance. This game is a masterpiece of historical accuracy, and it's all about immersing yourself in the harsh realities of medieval Bohemia. Set in the early 15th century, you play as Henry, the son of a blacksmith who finds himself caught up in the chaos of a civil war after his village is destroyed by mercenaries. The authenticity commitment of this game is just impressive. Like every part of the game is like you're really living in this world. The combat in Kingdom Come is challenging to say the least. It's not the fast paced hack and slash action you might be used to. This is methodical skill based fighting that requires you to learn techniques, time your strikes and manage your stamina. 
It's actually a tough one, but that's what makes it so rewarding. And the game doesn't just stop at combat. You'll need to eat, sleep, and maintain your gear if you want to survive. Even the simple act of learning to read becomes a significant part of your journey. Apart from these, the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance is also well detailed, along with the quests that will give you a deep connection with the world. Now, I've got to say that this is a bit slow game, maybe similar to the phase of RDR2 if you have also played it. But again, this is a really rewarding game once you finally progress. And with the upcoming Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, maybe it's better that you experience this game first. Next up is Age of Empires 2. Few games have stood the test of time like Age of Empires 2. This legendary real-time strategy game has been around for over two decades, and yet it remains one of the most beloved medieval games of all time. This game is such a perfect fit for this list because of its ability to transport you back to a time when empires rose and fell and knights battled for supremacy. Whether you're leading the mighty Mongols, the formidable Franks, or any of the other numerous civilizations, Age of Empires II offers a deep strategic experience that's hard to beat. At its core, Age of Empires II is a game about gathering resources, building your base, and raising an army to crush your enemies. But there's so much more beneath the surface. Each civilization has its own unique units, technologies, and strategies, which keeps the gameplay fresh and engaging no matter how many times you play. The campaign mode is also a standout feature, offering historically inspired missions that let you relive some of the most iconic battles and events of the medieval era. It's a game that's easy to pick up but hard to master. Whether you're playing against the AI or challenging friends online, every match feels like a new and exciting challenge. And with the release of the Definitive Edition, which adds new content, improved graphics, and quality of life features, Age of Empires 2 is better than ever. Next on the list is Chivalry 2. If you're craving some brutal, chaotic medieval combat that makes you feel like you're right in the thick of it, Chivalry 2 is the game for you. This first-person multiplayer game is all about massive, bloody battles that capture the brutal reality of medieval warfare. The game perfectly captures the chaos of medieval combat, with every swing of your weapon, every parry, and every battle cry adding to the immersion. It's actually a crime not to include this game on this list, so yeah. I have added this one. One of the standout feature that I love most is the massive scale battles, like you're about to see more than 60 players in a battlefield. Along with its hard to master combat, you surely want to prepare before going to the battle. The game also features a wide range of weapons and classes, allowing you to customize your playstyle to suit your preferences. Whether you prefer the brute strength of a knight, the agility of an archer, or the tactical prowess of a footman, Chivalry 2 has something for everyone. Let's not forget the humor. Chivalry 2 doesn't take itself too seriously, with plenty of moments that will have you laughing even as you're fighting for your life while facing an enemy. Sometimes, it's actually refreshing to see this kind moment, especially on a game that is all about fighting. So if you haven't tried this one yet, why not give it a shot? Next up, we have Bad North. This game is a little different from the other games on this list, but its minimalist medieval real-time strategy concept makes it a perfect example that you don't need a realistic graphics to deliver a good game. In Bad North, you take control of a small group of islanders who must defend their home from waves of Viking invaders. Bad North also had a great atmosphere. The game's art style is simple but striking, with beautiful hand-drawn visuals that create a sense of isolation and vulnerability. Each island you defend feels like its own little world, and the minimalist design only adds to the feeling of being transported to a distant, medieval time. The game's soundtrack is also worth mentioning with haunting melodies that perfectly complement the game's mood. But don't let the simplicity of Bad North fool you. This game is challenging, and every decision you make matters. The game's roguelike elements, where each playthrough is different, add to the tension, as you never know what challenges you'll face next. Bad North is a game that strips away the complexity and focuses on what really matters. Strategy, atmosphere, and the feeling of being transported to another world. Next up is For Honor. When it comes to intense, visceral medieval combat, few games do it better than For Honor. 
This game is all about putting you right in the middle of brutal one-on-one -on -one duels. For Honor doesn't just immerse you in the world of knights, vikings, and samurai. It makes you feel like you're living it. The combat is deep, nuanced, and incredibly satisfying, with a unique system that rewards timing, precision, and strategy. The combat is a standout feature of this game. If you have played Sekiro before, then this will have a small bit of it when it comes to combat, especially with its parry mechanic. Plus, with the game's art of battle system, you will be allowed to control the direction of your attacks and blocks. Just a note, this isn't a game where you can just button mash your way to victory. You need to be smart, patient, and strategic. For Honor also has its diverse roster of heroes. You can choose to play as a knight, viking, or samurai, each with their own unique fighting style and abilities. The variety of characters, combined with the depth of the combat system, ensures that no two battles ever feel the same. The game's multiplayer modes adds another layer of fun in the game. Whether you're engaging in intense 1v1 duel or chaotic 4v4 skirmishes, there's always something exciting happening. And with the game's ongoing support from Ubisoft means that new content, heroes, and events are regularly added, keeping the experience fresh and engaging. Next up, we have a Plague Tale series. If you're looking for a medieval game that combines a gripping narrative with intense, atmospheric gameplay, look no further because this game is ready to deliver it all. Set in the dark and brutal world of 14th century France during the Black Death, this series tells the harrowing story of two siblings, Amisha and Hugo, as they struggle to survive in a world ravaged by disease, war, and supernatural horrors. From the moment you step into this world, you'll be hooked by its stunning visuals, emotionally charged story, and unique gameplay mechanics that blend stealth, puzzle solving, and action. The relationship between Amisha and Hugo is at the heart of the game, and their journey is filled with moments of heart-wrenching emotion, tense encounters, and powerful character development. The gameplay in these games are just as compelling as its story. The game's stealth mechanics are finely tuned, requiring you to carefully navigate through enemy territory, avoid deadly rats, and use your wits to outsmart your foes. The world of this game is beautifully realized, with stunning graphics that bring the medieval setting to life. With its blend of gripping narrative, atmospheric gameplay, and stunning visuals, the A Plague Tale series is a must-play for anyone looking to lose themselves in a medieval world that's both beautiful and terrifying. And to complete our list, we have Mordhau. Mordhau is a medieval multiplayer combat game that offers one of the most chaotic and exhilarating experiences you can find. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to be part of a massive medieval battle, complete with swords, spears, and arrows flying everywhere, then Mordhau is the game for you. It's brutal, fast-paced, and incredibly satisfying, making it the perfect choice for anyone who wants to lose themselves in the heat of medieval combat. The deep and realistic combat system of this game is like no other. You can block, parry, feint, and counterattack, creating a dynamic and skill-based experience that feels incredibly rewarding when you pull off a perfect sequence. Similar to Chivalry 2, Mordhau also offers a massive 64-player battle defending a castle from invaders, or dueling one-on-one -on -one with another player. The game's chaotic and unpredictable nature keeps you on your toes. The feeling of being part of a massive medieval battle, with soldiers clashing all around you, is incredibly immersive and makes for some truly epic moments. But Mordhau isn't just about mindless combat. It also offers a variety of game modes that cater to different playstyles, from the massive objective-based frontline mode to the intense skill-focused dual mode, there's something for everyone. And with a robust character customization system, you can create a warrior that fits your personal style. Similar to the other games on this list, Mordhau is definitely a must play if you want a massive medieval battle. And that's it. If you enjoyed this list, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.